Well, hi, my name is Emmeline Parker and I've been dancing at music studios for 13 years. Obviously, dance is a big part of my life, so like that's like a lot about myself. But outside of dance, I'm really involved with my church youth group and I like doing like artsy things, like visual and performing arts. And I like to write and work on a book. I actually, for the first book chapter for this book that I'm writing, I got a word of merit at the Assemblies of God National Fine Arts Festival. I am homeschooled. I've been homeschooled my whole life, but my curriculum is actually accredited, so I'm doing it through a private Christian school in Florida. So when I graduate, I actually do get a real diploma. Being homeschooled, it really depends on the family. I am fairly self-motivated, so I get up in the morning and I do my school, but I'm normally done before like 11 or 12. After graduation, I'm going to Anderson University in Indiana, and I will be majoring in dance, specifically focusing in pedagogy, which is dance teaching. I started dancing, and I know like this is really basic, because everyone's like, oh, I just danced around my house, and then like my mom put me in like ballet or hip-hop class, so I did dance around the house some. I also was really interested in the violin, but my mom knows someone that plays the violin, and she said that I needed to take two years of piano before I take the violin, so my mom gave me two options, and it was take piano and then play the violin or take ballet class now, so like instant gratification says ballet class now, and that just kind of stuck. I feel like it's something that I'm supposed to be doing. It's something that I really enjoy, and especially like elementary and middle school, I was very closed off with my emotions, and I still tend to bottle them up, but dance is a really good way of releasing that energy and releasing those emotions without hurting other people. I have been on the Music Studios Federation team for six years. I hate tryouts so much, and I don't think there's been a trout that I haven't cried the night before. My first year back when it was All Stars, it was just like the lyrical team and the hip hop team, so I only tried out for lyrical. And then the next year we merged and I had to try out for lyrical and hip hop. But being on the team and being forced to do hip hop, I found that I really do enjoy it. Picking something that I think is my greatest strength is really hard, but I would say not necessarily my drive, but like, I work really hard at applying corrections and trying really hard not to make the same mistake twice. So I would say like being attentive to details. Body image, it is a very real thing and it is a real struggle, especially in the ballet lyrical area. With ballet, like there's this stereotype that all ballerinas are skinny and all of them look the same, which is not true. And there's lots of really good dancers that are, break that stereotype. So it's something that I still struggle with on occasion. And like some days I'll have days where I'm like, oh, I look so good. And then other days I'm like, do I have to go outside today? So I think it just depends. Every day is different. My favorite competition dance that I've competed with was Shades of Grey, which was my very first group dance in Lyrical. And I really liked that dance. It was really fun because everything about that experience was brand new for me. And I remember that we all nailed our double pirouette on stage every single time. And that was something that Geraldine had drilled with us. So I feel like that was a really big accomplishment. This question was not on the list originally when I had looked at it. And I was like, oh, they just not put this there because she doesn't want to hurt Geraldine's feelings or she doesn't want to find out that tap isn't actually my favorite style. So in no particular order, I really like tap and I was really nervous whenever tap was first brought to the studio because it wasn't something I had done before. And it's really weird because a lot of people will be like, oh, lyrical contemporary for this thing. But like tap is a really good release of emotions for me. I also really like lyrical, but I really like contemporary. Contemporary is very similar to lyrical in some ways, but in other ways it's a little bit more weird and leaning towards more modern styles. I have been interning at the studio for four years and I've been teaching for two. Obviously I'm going to college for dance teaching, so it's something that I really enjoy. I really like getting to know them and getting to be a part of their life. I've got some students that I had for their very first creative movement class and now they're in like ballet one, so I like watching them grow. On the internship side, 
I really like having the opportunity to like learn different teaching methods and learn from like the teachers that I interned for. So something that I would like to say to my family and friends, thank you all for being supportive of me. Not every parent wants their kid to go and pursue a field that might not necessarily make a lot of money. So having their support behind me doing that is very encouraging and I really appreciate it. And like my friends, especially my friends that don't dance and them still being supportive of me even though they don't really know a whole lot about what I'm doing, it's, I, I appreciate it. I think five years from now I will be graduating from Anderson University with a major in dance and starting the process of joining an international missions team, giving specifically underprivileged children the opportunity to dance and through dance learning about like their emotions and how to process and just giving them a safe place. Moving on and closing this chapter of my life is kind of hard, but it's also a good feeling because like I can look back and see all of the things that I've accomplished and look forward and see all of the things that I'm going to accomplish. Music Studios has been a huge part of my life and I've had the honor of seeing many different sides of the studio. So that's the studio is something that I am going to cherish very closely because I have grown up here and I've experienced a lot of life. I don't think graduating feels real yet, but I will when I graduate, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs>